All right, so what three written works kind of lay the foundations of Stoicism? Um, and those would pretty much just be uh, Marcus Aurelius's Meditations, uh, Seneca's Letters of Four Stoic, and Epitetus's Enchirion, I think is how you pronounce it. But there's also a book that combines all three that's just called Stoic Foundations, right? The Cornerstone Works of Stoicism. There's the cover um, for those of you that are interested. So who are these three people and their kind of respective uh, works, right? So Marcus Aurelius was a Roman emperor from 161 to 180 AD, the, the actual years. Um, uh, he was the last of the rulers that was known as the five good emperors and the last of Pax Romana, which was kind of like their Rome's like uh, age of relative peace in a way where there wasn't much war before everything mm. fell. But basically what his meditations is, is a, it's kind of like a personal, like philosophical diary in a way, um, for like reflection and kind of self-improvement. That was kind of his thing. Um, it was kind of a total of 12 books in general. They're all pretty small, like reads, like it's very much so like just little individual entries, like one, and then he'll add like maybe a paragraph or two, and then two comma, the same thing, and whatever he was kind of thinking at that time. So like, uh, for example, in one of him, he just said, or one of his books, he just says, those who do not attend closely to the motions of their own souls must inevitably be unhappy. Kind of like, you know, one of the biggest ideas is like kind of remaining true to your own nature in a way, um, or to nature, I should say. Um, and kind of like being with your own soul. Um, and that's kind of like how you can be happy in a way. Um, there's a lot more into it and a lot more stuff like that um one of the biggest things in general is like you know logic over emotions kind of one of the only um things that sets humans apart from other animals in, in nature in a way is the ability to reason um is, is the argument um so it's important to analyze one's judgment of self and others so like even just the judgment of yourself like that's important in the long run if that makes sense um that um everything comes from nature and will return at some point right it's the whole cycle of everything um it's a big thing in that he writes about is like um it doesn't really matter like the length of your life in a way it's more of like how you're living it, it it's a lot of like um principles and stuff that you hear from those like uh i want to say facebook quotes um things like that like you know uh yeah <laughs> stuff like that um it's just kind of like this is where a lot of that stuff kind of like started but it's a lot more we'll say esoteric and well thought out right and not very clickbaity um there's a quick one on that. Uh, and the next we'll say is Letters from a Stoic, which is by Seneca. This one's the majority of the book. There, it's, it's kind of the same thing. So Seneca was a statesman or playwright. Um, he was exiled to the island of Corsica in the year 41, but returned in 49 to tutor Nero. Um, and basically all of his plays were tragedies. So he was a very, he was that kind of person. Um, but his letters itself is kind of like an informal curriculum in Stoic philosophy that he wrote to benefit his friend Lucilius. Um, and it's literally just like, they're literally letters verbatim. Like he wrote letters to his friend explaining his thoughts on like various things. Like for example, um, the first one is on saving time and it's kind of like how Stoicism views that sort of thing and there's always like every few pages there's like a big bold um like, kind of like highlighted portion off to the side like the kind of a main idea for that part so like for the first one on saving time it's while we are postponing life speeds by um things like that um but talks about a lot of different things like um 
about the terrors of death is a good or bad sort of thing. Like, um, is like death in and of itself good or evil or neutral or whatever. Those kind of things, if that makes sense. But that's the majority of the book. Um, and then finally you have uh, Epictetus's uh, Enchirion. So Epictetus was born a slave in modern day Western Turkey. And then basically like, for him, it's more of like this philosophy stuff isn't theoretical. It's like, it is the way of life. Like Stoicism is the way of life that you're supposed to have. Um, and he wrote his Enchirion basically as like a, a short, like practical guide in a way to having a Stoic life. Like for example, on 355, if I can get to it. Um, one of the things that he says is, it is not the things themselves that disturb men, but their judgments about those th these things. And like, you see a lot of this in like, um, like Ryan Holiday's work. He's a big one on, on this sort of thing too. Like his, he has a book literally called The Obstacle is the Way, right? And it, it, the whole thing is like, it's just because something happened doesn't necessarily mean it's good or bad. It's like your you allow it like, how to word it? It's your judgment of that, that kind of dictates where you're going with it in a way. So there's that. But why is this kind of a, a big thing or whatever? Why, is, why does stoicism matter or why is it a big deal? Um, so they have this thing, basically like the four virtues. So you have courage, temperance, justice, and wisdom. Um, and those are kind of like the tenets, right? So you have other ways to think of it are like bravery for courage or moderation for temperance, uh, kind of like a, having a just cause for justice. And then like wisdom is kind of like lifelong study. That's something that they all talk about in each of their respective books or sections, whatever you, writings, I guess would be technically correct. Um, basically just... Especially the lifelong study part, where it's, forget the exact words they say, but the whole point is to con be continuously working on this thing, because we are still human in and of itself, right? It's the whole act of pretend, or not pretending, that's a terrible way to say it. Um, it's the act of continuing to improve that makes the difference, in a way. Um, so that, for that, kind of talk a little bit about the general stuff for Stoicism, like in the preface, where he really gets into it. So, like, Stoicism is a philosophy of life, meaning a framework for living our best life in the best way possible. Um, for guiding us through our choices, and most importantly, for becoming the most excellent human beings we can be. Two fundamental ideas for this are basically like living with agreement with nature, which comes from Zeno himself. And then two, we should think of ourselves as basically citizens of the world. Like it's, it's uh, very much like live, live in agreement with nature and pretty much everyone else. The whole purpose of people is to be social and that sort of thing. Um, also, so to be, in agreement, to be in agreement with nature means to take seriously what sort of animal beings are and act accordingly. And this is where they go on later and just be like, you know, the thing that um, sets humans apart or humanity apart is the ability to reason in that, in that case. Um, also, when it comes to human beings, the Stoics thought that the two most important and distinctive aspects of our species are that they are highly social animals and that we are capable of reason. I forgot what stuff I highlighted, so I'm saying it beforehand. <laughs> um, there's that. Um, to go more on to the virtues, so you have stoic mindfulness is the knowledge of what is good, of what is bad, and of how to achieve the first and steer clear from the latter. Justice means behaving fairly toward others, treating them with respect and dignity, Courage is the notion that we should do the right thing, even when it costs us personally. 
and temperance is about self-control and moderation, doing things in right measure, right? And kind of the, uh, to go back over the three works again, if in the words of the person who translated this, right, and, or who, and wrote the preface. So Seneca's letters are an informal curriculum in Stoic philosophy that is the first century Roman statesman and philosopher wrote for the benefit of his friend Lucilius, Epictetus's manual, the Enchirion is a short but practical guide to a Stoic life, and Marcus Aurelius's meditations, though written as a personal philosophical diary to ref of reflection and self-improvement, brim with wisdom and empathy for fellow human beings, thus dismantling the stereotype of Stoicism as a philosophy of the stiffer upper lip. Stiff upper, upper lip. Cannot talk this morning. Anyways, um, so there's that. Um, I guess on a more personal basis, too, um, after the book. Uh, Stoicism has been kind of a, um, a thing I've come back to multiple times, um, especially the past four or five years or so. I kind of got into it in college and then kind of kept it for a while. It's been something that's really resonated with me, or at least my personality, I guess. Um, and it's kind of driven some big decisions in my life, too. And honestly, they, in retrospect, um, it's really... Um, think worked out for the better if that makes sense like I'm definitely much happier now and think have a much I'm not sure how to word it I'm much more content on my philosophy on how I'm living if that makes sense so it's like um not that I'm like content in my current situation, is what I'm saying. It, 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 Cause the whole point is like always be improving, but like I'm content in how I'm continuously attacking that, if that makes sense. Probably think of a better way to word it after this video is over. But anyways, um, some other good books for this are like Ego is the Enemy. That's a good one. That's, uh, that's by Ryan Holiday. That's a pretty good one to read um, and read multiple times as well. He has a lot of good stories in there too to help explain the concepts um, and that sort of thing. But anyways, I'm gonna leave this one here. So as always, there is, um, I'll put the playlist up in the top right corner for other book reviews and such. And I'll probably put two videos from Ryan Holiday himself that kind of like, uh, better put together, or be wow, better explain the um, kind of stoicism and, and like why it's important and that sort of thing. But anyways, I'm going to leave this one here, so I hope to see you guys on the next one.